Bonjour! Welcome to another episode of Cuisine de Michel. I am Michel. So today, or tonight rather, since this is the dinner I'm making, I'm going to be making a recipe I've made a couple times now and I absolutely love. And it's from the littlesunnykitchen.com. Or I should just say littlesunnykitchen.com. There's no the at the beginning. It's the pressure cooker Tuscan chicken. So I've already got it started here. I have this set to the saute setting. And inside of the pot, we have two tablespoons of butter. It's unsalted butter, but I think you could use salted. And there's one tablespoon of the olive oil that my uh, sun-dried tomatoes are packed in. So what we're gonna be doing is we have some chicken breast here that I've already seasoned with some kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper. This is about 1.6 pounds. The recipe calls for two, that's why I reduced my butter slightly in here on the amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these in. This is nice and hot already. I get those in. I'm going to be cooking those for about two to three minutes on each side so that they can get browned. Okay. okay, so now I've had these cooking on both sides. You can see they got brown here, looking very nice. I'm going to go ahead and add in, this is five cloves of minced garlic. All that in there. I'm going to stir that around in there for just a second so it kind of gives a chance to cook. Just a minute. So we'll get kind of right there on the chicken, but that's okay. We'll all get cooked here in just a minute. We just want that to stir around to get fragrant. Then I'm going to be adding in one cup of chicken stock. That is a variation from the recipe amount. The recipe amount only lists one half cup. And my model of instant pot thing here says that I have to have a minimum of one cup of liquid and I follow that rule. So I am going to be using that one cup. And then to that, we are going to be adding some seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and cancel this. It does not need to be on the saute anymore. So this has one teaspoon of the uh, Italian seasoning. There's also a half teaspoon of regular salt, like table salt, and a quarter teaspoon of coarse ground pepper, and one quarter teaspoon of uh, red pepper flakes. So we'll put all of that in there. I'm gonna stir that in just a little bit so it can get all over everything. Just kinda push those around. Mmm, smells good. Now I'm going to be putting the lid on to seal so we want to make sure it's on sealing. Always check your lid for sealing. Always also check and make sure that your little thing here is in place. So I've got my sealing in place. I swear I can never make this land. There we go. Again, make sure that it's on sealing. And I'm going to be using the poultry setting. And on that poultry setting, I'm going to adjust my time down to six minutes. And we're gonna start. So we'll let that come to pressure and uh, rejoin after it is cooked. So now that the pot has finished its pressure cooking cycle, and we are going to be opening it. I've already done a quick release on the pressure. I actually let it sit there maybe for a minute or two. I was finishing up grating the Parmesan that we need for this stuff. So it's okay if you want to let it release just a little bit, but go ahead and quick release that pressure. And then of course, carefully remove your lid. Steam away from you always. Make 
should smell absolutely wonderful. We are now going to turn it on with our saute, just for a minute here. And to this pot, we're going to be adding one cup of heavy cream. I'm going to get me a spatula and make sure I get all of this lovely heavy cream out of here. And while that's getting heated up, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the chicken. Because it does not need to cook extra with this. It's already plenty cooked now. See that I'm boiling some water. I'm going to be serving some pasta with this. The pasta that I'm going to be serving is this tagliolini, and it's uh, obviously Granoro brand, but you can get whatever you want. It's just that this cooks up in three minutes, um, and it's really nice with this. I I just happened to have discovered it. Uh, I tried it with this and. These cook up, like I said, in three minutes, so they're really easy. I'm not going to cook these up until I've finished this step, so the water's just going to sit there and be ready with the boiling. Meanwhile, we have our mixture going on here with the heavy cream. It looks a little mess right now, but we are going to add to that one half cup of grated Parmesan. I used Parmesan Reggiano. Go ahead and get that stirred into there. All nice and melted. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. And let that simmer there for just a moment so that it can get all the flavors melded together. All right, so now this has been simmering for just a minute, not a very long time. I'm going to go ahead and cancel my saute function. And I'm going to be stirring in one half cup of chopped sun-dried tomatoes, as well as two cups of baby spinach leaves. And I'm just approximating, I don't know exactly how you're supposed to measure out the two cups. I just kind of stuffed them in the cup. And so the leaves are going to wilt, get all mixed in there, beautiful color, absolutely gorgeous with those nice green leaves in there. Once those have wilted and everything's stirred together really nicely, I oh, should go ahead and plug, unplug that. Our sauce is now ready. You can let it just sit there and kind of simmer off. And you can add your chicken breasts back in there to get some flavor. I'm going to go ahead and drain off the liquid that has collected. Just let that get in there. Personally, I like to go ahead and cut them up at this stage so that they're nice bite-sized pieces and then put them back in. So as you can see, we have our final plated product here. And it looks wonderful, and if you could smell it, oh my god, it smells so good. So I topped it with a little bit of extra Parmesan, and uh, you can see it's ready to go. So thank you once again for joining me for another episode of Cuisine de Michel. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Au revoir!